Linda Lazy is joining me in studio. Now she's going to introduce us to her second studio album, Ascension. Hello. Hi. hi. I love your outfit. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to talk about your second studio album. I want to talk about the single mm. off of it, Forbidden Fruit. This has caused some controversy. Why don't you tell us about the song? Um, the song Forbidden Fruit is based on New Age Taboo. Mm -hmm. um, I decided to, you know, explore difference in my, you know, in my life and, you know, um, being in South Africa, what does it mean to be different? And for me, New Age Taboos, I think, um, especially as an African, mm -hmm. um, you could say it's, I don't want to say as being an African, but you could, I think I'm choking on this. I need to explain it another way. Um, <laughs> I split it like this, back in the day, what you would have called taboo, um, different relationships, you know, different yeah. colors mixing. That's what they called forbidden fruit back in the day, right. you know. And now I'm, I'm, I'm in a new world. That's how I believe it. I think I'm part of a new generation. And in our time, what do they call forbidden fruit? Apparently in Africa, um, it's, you know, gays and lesbians. Yeah. It's uh, marijuana. People are trying to figure out, hey, can we use it for medicinal uses yeah. or is it still like, you know, not allowed? Like it's anything. That's different, like that's mm -hmm. taboo. So that's what the song's about, basically. Now the song, I think, for a lot of people, very bring up some of the um, social talking points around um, gay and lesbian, especially around. Uh, there's this big wave of anti-gay laws in yeah. Africa. Did you plan for the song to come out at the same time as these laws were implemented in different African countries? Um, it was mainly also just to challenge them. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know how it was going, but like I was yeah. aware that people were dying. Um, I'm friends with um, Zanele Muholi, for instance, and on Facebook each time there's a picture of a lesbian that's been killed, and she's mm -hmm. at the funeral documenting everything. And you know, like I don't know, I, I still wanted to have fun. So forbidden fruit is about fun. You know, mm -hmm. you could take it anywhere you want, but at its core, it just um, supports that. You know, it's okay to be different. Um, I believe we all are different and um, yeah, I don't believe there's a set of rules to, to live life mm. and um, it's basically in support of that and I think that whole sentence, all of that is, is forbidden fruit so I had to support my statement yeah. with a, you know, an adequate video. Yeah, the video is amazing. Yeah. It's very refreshing and edgy. I want to talk about the concept. Did, how did you come up with that concept? I love the fruits. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle pulled in the fruits. Kyle uh, directed this video. Yeah. Um, Kyle Lewis, and yeah, he, you know, you know, was literal and literally just brought in like proper fruits, you yeah. know. And um, with me, I actually thought, no, let's bring in couples, and it's you know different couples, you know, pansexual. Mm -hmm. And basically, when you watch the video, it must make you think, what is wrong with them kissing and what is right with them kissing? Like, why would yeah. you think that there's a problem? So it's also just to, like, enlighten that. Hey, this, For example, there's fruits. This is all fruit. Nothing yeah. wrong with it, you know. So basically, that's, that's what the video is about. What a great message. Now, yeah. what can we expect from the rest of Ascension? Um, sure, Ascension is... It's full of stories. I mean, yeah. I've been traveling now for the past um, two years. Um, it's been a while since I released my last album. So like, in a way, I feel like I achieved my own ascension. Like I, I started traveling. Um, I learned a whole lot. I, I kind of attained this like global culture because I was in different, you know, continents. And um, that's what I wanted to share with Ascension. It's like it goes through different stories and as much as it's fun, it's got a lot of messages because yeah. I feel like we don't get enough education this side of, of the world. I mean, yes, we get education, but yeah. it's just not the meaty bits. Like people are still scared of a whole lot of stuff. And with my experiences, I just wanted to show a different light on life and, you know, what it means to be, what, you know, like, basically it's like introspection. Yeah. So through my introspection, I found my ascension and that's what I'm sharing with the fans. Now I think we're going to understand the album much better if we hear about your Yeah, experience. yeah, pretty much. Um, Sounds deep right now. It's yeah. like, what? <laughs> but basically that's what it is. It's like self-discovery and like, yeah. you know, reach, reaching heights you never thought that you'd reach. Mm. You know, playing at the Apollo, I never thought I'd do that. But like through, as I say, it comes from, you know, eternal wealth, like inner wealth. That's what, you know, helps you achieve everything that you want to, like through my hands, which play keys, my mouth, which sings, my heart, which, you know, has given me tenacity to go on. 
through all these experiences, I, I achieved my ascension and basically I challenge the listener to find theirs and there's just main things. You've got to put in a little bit of education. Just got to keep it fun because we get bored easily and yeah.